Hello everyone, this is Rajkumar Singh. Today we will discuss on N-harmonic oscillator and do the calculation for energy corrections using perturbation theory. A quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator is the one in which the relationship between force and displacement is linear. It oscillates with a single frequency and this frequency is independent of energy given to the system or to the amplitude of vibration. In the typical potential energy and displacement diagram, energy splitting is equal to one another and the lines on either side are not asymptotic to y-axis. Whereas, a quantum mechanical n-harmonic oscillator is the one in which relationship between force and displacement is non-linear. In the potential energy displacement diagram, energy spacing is not equal between the energy levels. As you can see in the given figure, we have potential energy plotted against displacement. So this diagram is not symmetrical about this uh, reference point. And the energy spacing between the different levels are also not equal. In the next figure, we have a comparison between the harmonic oscillators and n-harmonic oscillators potential energy plotted against displacement and we can see in case of harmonic oscillator the plot is very much symmetric about this uh, axis and it is almost similar to the alphabet u shape whereas in case of n harmonic oscillator we have no symmetry about the same axis and it is slightly different from the u shape for example, when an atom placed in an external field of a small strength, it experiences a displacement between the center of mass of the nucleus and the electron cloud. This is in proportional to the field strength. But as the strength of field is increased, the field and the dipole interaction is no longer linear. Other examples of n-harmonic oscillators are large angle pendulum, non-linear semiconductor, ionospheric plasmas, and so on. Virtually, all harmonic oscillator becomes n-harmonic when the driver amplitude increases beyond a certain threshold value. Now, we will have a calculation for n-harmonic oscillator, which is due to a particle of charge Q and mass M moving in a one dimensional harmonic potential of cyclic frequency omega. Let this particle be subjected to a weak electric field E along the x direction. We wish to calculate the energy correction due to this n harmonicity up to second order correction using perturbation theory. The interaction between the oscillating charge and the applied weak electric field along x direction results in a perturbation Hamiltonian Hp equal to Qex. Let it be equation 1. This perturbation Hamiltonian adds to the unperturbed Hamiltonian to give the Hamiltonian of the system H equal to H0 plus Hp, where H0 equal to H cross square by 2m d2 by dx square plus half m omega square x square. H0 is the unperturbed Hamiltonian of the system. Therefore, we have H equal to H cross square by 2m d2 by dx square plus half m omega square x square plus qex. Now, from the theory of harmonic oscillator, we know that the ion state ket n of the system is non-degenerate and the ion value equation is H0 ket n equal to E n ket n where E n equal to n plus half H cross omega where n takes on the values 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. The first order correction to energy eigenvalue En is given by from the perturbation theory En1 
equal to bray n hp get n let it be equation 7 in coordinate representation this equation 7 can be written as en1 equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity sin s star x q e x sin x dx where the time independent oscillator wave function is given by sin x equal to n exponential 2 pi i n by l into x where n is the normalization constant we observe that this wave function has odd or even parity as given by the following expression psi n of minus x equal to minus 1 to the power n psi n x. Therefore, the change of variable from x dash equal to minus x gives e n 1 equal to q e integral minus infinity to plus infinity psi n star minus x dash x dash psi n minus x dash d of minus x dash and this is equal to minus of minus 1 to the power 2 n q e integral minus infinity to plus infinity psi n star x x psi n x dx and this is equal to minus of e n 1. We put we take this to the left hand side we have 2 times e n 1 equal to 0 and this implies e n 1 equal to 0. That means there is no first order correction to the unperturbed energy value e n. So now we will calculate the second order correction e n 2 and from the perturbation theory e n 2 is given by q square e square summation over m not equal to n and this modulus is square of bray m x n divided by the energy difference e n naught minus e m naught for a harmonic oscillator x m n equal to x n m and x m n survives only for n minus 1 and n plus 1 and we have the following results n dash psi n n equal to root over h cross by 2 omega root under n delta function n dash n minus 1 plus root under n plus 1 delta function n dash n plus 1. Now in this expression we go for n plus 1 in place of n dash and in our calculation we have replaced m by n dash. Now when we use n plus 1 this uh, delta function n plus 1 n plus 1 this becomes 1 and this becomes 0. So we are left with a square root of h cross by 2m omega bracket a square root of n plus 1. When we take n minus 1 in place of n dash, we are left with this delta function as 1 because this is delta n minus 1, n minus 1 and this delta function is different because these two coefficients are different. So we are left with bray n minus 1 x cat n equal to square root h cross by 2 m omega root under n. These are the equations 12, 13, 14. And the energy difference between the two levels e n naught minus e n minus 1 naught this is equal to h cross and e n naught minus e n plus 1 naught equal to minus h cross omega. Therefore, uh, equation 11 gives we will use values of this uh, expressions into equation 11 we get e n 2 equal to q square e square within bracket we take the summation terms and only two terms two terms survive which corresponds to n dash which is equal to m in our case equal to n plus 1 and n minus 1 and we have the expressions for them in the previous slide. So, en2 equal to q square e square and we have the expression for this one and here we have expression for this one. We solve this, we get en2 equal to minus q square e square by 2m omega square. Therefore, energy up to second order correction en 
will be en0 plus en1 plus en2 and using their values we get en equal to n plus half h cross omega this comes from the unperturbed energy and en1 the first order correction is 0 and this is the second order correction minus q square e square by 2m omega square. So finally we have expression for energy en that is equal to n plus half h cross omega minus q square e square by 2m omega square and this result agrees well with the energy expression obtained from exact solution method. Now our objective is to find the in function of the Hamiltonian of the system up to the first order correction. So we use the expression from the perturbation method ket psi n equal to ket psi n naught plus summation over m naught equal to n and we have ray psi m naught perturbation Hamiltonian ket psi n naught divided by the energy difference e n naught minus e m naught and ket psi m naught. So using equation 13, 14 and 15 we get this expression for the eigen ket psi n equal to ket psi n naught q e by h cross omega square root of h cross by 2 m omega and within bracket we have a square root of n ket n minus 1 minus a square root of n plus 1 ket n plus 1 where psi n naught is the known i n function in the unper unperturbed state. So this way we have done calculation for energy correction coming due to n harmonic term contribution in the harmonic oscillation and we have also calculated the eigen function in the first order correction. Thank you.